Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm here with our February 6th new releases and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. I am still mentally recovering from <laughs> the planner event I attended this past weekend here in the Metro Atlanta area, um, the Galentine's with a Plan event. Um, and it was so much fun meeting so many of you. Um, and I just, I just loved attending those. I love attending planner events, but that one is definitely my favorite one to attend. And it was so much fun. Um, but now I'm back and I'm ready to share this week's new releases. Um, we do have not a ton, but we do have a good amount of new releases this week. But I do want to say this first before I forget and also in case you leave the video early which why aren't you watching all the way through my videos no, I'm just kidding but um I completely blanked when I was at when I went to go leave for the event on Friday and I had 100 swaps made to hand out to everyone I basically like assumed that I was going to talk to every single person there um definitely didn't happen but I always like to come at least prepared um so if I met you and I didn't give you a sticker sheet like I did last year, it's because I left them all here at the office. Now, I literally have 100 of these. Actually, I think that's a lie. I think I have 96 in here. But um, they're all the same. They're all like Valentine's Day themed. I'm pretty sure they're all gold foiled. Yeah, every single one is gold foiled. They're all Valentine's themed like this. So you have like your little swirly hearts, some little mini deco here, some a whole set of date numbers. You have head in the clouds here because it was like kind of the theme. Budget clouds, some hot air balloons, some kisses. And then down here it says, so nice to meet you. Happy Galentine's. Um, so I forgot all these and I don't know what I'm going to do with them because they are very specifically branded for this past event. I mean, it literally says Co-op 2024 on there. And it says, so nice to meet you, happy Galentine's. So it feels kind of weird to sell these, but also I don't want 100 of these to go to waste. So I'm going to be giving them out in all orders free. All you have to do is just mention Guap 2024 <laughs> in the notes to seller and you can have one of these. Um, and it'll just be until supplies last. Um, so the first 96 orders that we get over, I don't even know how long we'll have these for. Um, I might be gone either this week or next week, I'm not sure. Um, depending on if everyone puts a note in the notes to seller, but yeah. Just write in the notes to seller, go up 2024, and you will get one of these. And it is in gold foil, and it is transparent matte. So... Hope you enjoy that. My mistake is your gain. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into the actual new releases. I'm going to start with the foiled stuff this week. I think I started with non-kit stuff last week too, but it's fine. Um, we'll start with these, which I wanted to release last week, but they weren't quite ready. So they got pushed this week. Um, so last week we had the torn papers that were not foiled. Let me see if I can grab them really quick. At least I think these were last week. We will see. Um, but we had these torn papers that were not foiled. If you missed them, they're in the shop. Um, and so I went ahead and made some foiled ones. Uh, these can be picked up in white, transparent, or washi paper. Um, so we are able to foil our washi paper. So if you get it in the washi paper, you can always just like they're already cut to be like torn papers, but you could always like tear them more if you get them on washi paper. So um, you have a couple options here. You can pick these up in gold, silver, rose gold, and black. Oh, and also hollow, I think. Um, and I have five different designs here for you guys. These are perfect for, you can like layer under things with them or over things. And also these are the exact same size as like the watercolor ones that we did a week or two ago I don't think that was last week um, but we did those like a week or two ago where they were like the solid watercolor -y backgrounds you can layer these on top of that because they are the exact same like cut lines so they will be a perfect fit but um, yeah 
So these are a permanent item in the shop. Um, they are not seasonal, so they will be there for a little while, but they are discounted an additional 10% this week only. So if you are interested in picking these up, I would pick them up this week. But um, first we have sheet music. I'm just showing these in gold with transparent matte. This is the grid one. Next we have vintage writing. We have plaid. And then last but not least, we have floral. This one's really busy, but it's really pretty. Look how pretty all the little flowers are. Especially like if you just have like this little small torn paper here, just like peeking out the side, like even though it's busy, it's like such small scale that I feel like it would be really, really pretty. So those are all five of the torn paper patterns. Um, I definitely want to do more of these. So let me know down below what kind of patterns you would like. I'm thinking like a dot grid type of one, like not quite polka dotty, but more dot grid ish. Um, and then I'm thinking maybe like a wood grain one. I don't know. Let me know what you'd like down below. Um, so yeah, those, those are those. <laughs> and then next we have a bunch of spring. Uh, these are like semi-permanent seasonal items. So these will be up for a couple weeks, maybe a couple months. I don't know. Um, but they are spring themed. And you know that they're seasonal when they say Q1 here. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. Um, but these don't say Q1 on them. So that's how you know that they're going to be more on the permanent side. Uh, saying that we'll never retire permanent items, but those will definitely take longer to retire than, say, the seasonal items. So I have quite a few here. Um, I have another theme. There's technically like two themes in here. Um, I have another one that I want to do next week because next week we're doing May monthly and it matches May monthly really, really well. So um, kind of just like push some of these forward, even though I was going to do this weather theme, I was going to do this one um, as one release and these spring ones as another release, but I'm just going to do them all at once. So works out for you if you want to shop both because then you have to save on shipping but um yeah and then I also thought that this weather one like with the clouds and stuff if you did attend the Galentine's event um these would be perfect at least the cloud themed items would be perfect for that um if you'd like um because we have been shipping decently fast but we're about to be shipping a little bit faster too because we got um what is the word I'm looking for? We're like all caught up is basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, um, at, and we've kind of gotten into our groove. So I am hoping that we will be having even faster shipping time soon. Um, now that I'm kind of like reorganizing the releases and things that have been released so that things are cutting at appropriate times. Um, so yeah, anyway, here we have spring windows. I do want to mention that I have regular windows on the shop and those are also considered a new release this week, but for the life of me, I cannot find them right now. Even though I know that they're made, I need to ask Bill where they are um, in the warehouse because um, he does all the organization of the stickers and stuff and I'm not really sure where they are right now. I do know that they're made though. So um, we have plain windows that don't have any decorations on them too that are new. You can see them on the website. Um, and those are also discounted the 10%, but here are the spring windows. We have some trees. A bunch of different gardening supplies. A lot of these sheets match um, some kits that we've already released as well. So you can pick those up, pick this up with those if you haven't already or whatever you desire. Next we have some floral doodles and I definitely wanted to do these this week because they match um, our kit that we're releasing um, today that you're about to see. Next we have these spring fauna which you have butterflies, snails, bees, ugh, ladybugs, and then um, ducks. <laughs> these ladybugs actually had little feet on them and the feet were creeping me out. They almost looked like polka dotted spiders and I was like I can't do that. So 
um, edited the feet off of them. So now they're just like cute little ladybugs. Um, but yeah, butterflies, snails, bees, ladybugs, and some ducks. So you get a little assortment of different spring things. Next we have these spring door scenes. So just a bunch of different, not all of them are doors. I guess that these are technically windows with bikes, but still. Either way, a handful of different scenes here that are spring themed. Next we have some blossoms and leaves. So you have some bigger ones up here and some smaller ones down here. And then we have an assortment of swings here. So we have tire swings, regular swings, some like floral ones, and then the like wooden bench swings. We have these garden arches. Some like wooden, more natural looking ones, and then some stone ones. Next, we're getting into the kind of like more weather themed ones. So we have um, these cloud date numbers, which you get three months worth of dates on here. We have just some cloud clusters. Here's some raindrop mini deco. So you get the you get some mini deco and some cluster deco, just kind of depending on what you're looking for. I feel like this is a good assortment to have kind of like both on one sheet. Um, yeah, so I did get a suggestion on what to do for some cluster deco, which I read the email and I realized I didn't respond to that. So um, you know who you are. I'm sorry, I'll probably respond to it after this video. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, so um, it was just a suggestion on what to do with like cluster deco and stuff. Because um, cluster deco is some of my favorite stickers, but also I don't want to make everything cluster deco too, so I don't know if this would work for you guys, but hopefully it does. Let me know what you think. Next we have some umbrellas. We have some like silhouettes and like outlines of umbrellas and then we have some florally umbrellas down here. Then we have a bunch of puddles in different sizes. Which, no this isn't what Tay used um, in her thing. She used like little ripples. But you can also use little puddles too I feel like. That would be cute. Which if you don't know what I'm talking about, you probably think I'm a crazy person now. Um, but next we have these cloud dividers, which I think match a kit that we did last week, I want to say. Um, or is it this week? Good question. No, I think it was last week that we did it. I hope it is, but if it wasn't last week, it will be soon. We'll have a kit that has this to match. Um, but yeah, these are cloud dividers. And then we have this rainy street lamp. So just like a street lamp that has some puddles and then some, it's porn. This is like a rainy bus stop almost. It's so cute. I love it. And then last but not least, the odd one out because of its shape, we have this cloud washi. So yeah, that is everything for the foil. I was about to grab this whole, <laughs> the whole stack of freebies and it's like, now I gotta go through a hundred sheets. But no, we're on to the kits now. Um, so I'll show denim first. Um, I think Shanice sneaked this on Instagram because I did give it to her at the event. Um, I also gave her the other new release too, but I guess she didn't like that one as much. Just kidding, Shanice. Um, but yeah, so here we have denim, which is like a blue themed kit, but I went ahead and went with champagne gold instead of silver. I feel like with blue kits I normally go the silver route but the champagne gold is really pretty too. Um, you have some of these fauna stickers that I showed you from before, the butterfly and the bee, they're here as well and then that little bloom blossom thing matches and then this little pot with the sprout matches some of those gardening things as well and then this, um, the music would go really well with this too. So just trying to like coordinate things as best as I can. I know that sometimes some things are going to match things that are released after and sometimes they're going to match things that were released before, but try my best to keep things together without making the releases like too overwhelming. Here is the color palette. You get some blues and like 
neutral color and a like peachyish color. Like I said, champagne gold foil. Here is the functional page. So you have this really pretty like floral pattern here, um, foiled, and then you have the floral headers and your lace headers. And then the bottom washi matches. So these florals also match that floral sheet I was talking about earlier, this one. They have the same vibe and they match. So those definitely go together. You have the umbrella here, which you could totally pull off a rainy vibe if you wanted to with these blues, I feel like, and your date covers and deco and such. Here is the foil add-on for this kit. So you get that really pretty uh, washi and divider. Um, you could totally cut these flowers off individually as well if you wanted to. You get some butterflies, bees, um, the two potted plants, you get some of those florals that I just showed you on the quarter sheets, but they're on here as well in case you didn't want a whole quarter sheet of them, but you just wanted them to match this kit. And then you get some musical um, like staffs, so, and some stamps. I don't know if I mentioned the stamps, but just showing it in gold here because it matches the foil that the kit is in, but you can pick it up in other foils as well, depending on like what kit you plan on using it with. Here is the alcohol ink swatches. The journal add-on. The floral deco add-on. And the deco add-on. Super cute. So that is the denim kit. And then our last new release for today, sticker-wise I guess I should say, um, we did restock a bunch of our pens because they were sold out and we just posted a bunch of new pens as well. Some of them are like the chunky pen, but like with a rose gold clip. And then we also released, I think basically every single mild liner color is in our shop now too. Um, I pulled those aside to film a video. I'm not sure if I'm going to film a video. If it's just pens, maybe I will. I don't know. Let me know if you'd like to see a whole video on just pens, but um, if you check out the in the drop down menu, it says new releases. And if you want to shop, I changed it a couple weeks ago, but if you want to shop the collections, you can just click on new collections. If you want to shop just the new foil items, you can click on new foil. If you want to shop new journaling items, you can click new journaling. And if you want to shop like the stationary items like washi, pens or whatever that might be new, you can click on new stationery. Um, so I try to like sort it out that way so you don't just go to a new release page and it's got 5 million things on it. Um, but yeah, let's get back to the kit. So this kit is called Rustic. It is in rose gold foil um, and it is super cute. It's super neutral vibes. Um, I think the browns is what kind of pulled me to do this in rose gold. But I feel like even gold would have looked really pretty with it, but the rose gold I'm feeling too. So you have some like wooden letters here that say love that are foiled. They would match the wooden letters from last week even, but those aren't foiled. Um, you have a little, not little girl, but she's little in the box. Um, the quote says there are always flowers for those who want to see them. Some kind of like scrapbooky vibes. Oh, look how pretty this house is with the little foiled tree. That tree matches this release as well. Um, and yeah, so here are the colors. Like I said, super neutral, just different browny, creamy, neutral tones. Here is the functional page. This is like giving like gardeny spring vibes without being like your stereotypical spring color palette. And I'm here for it. Um, next we have the washi page. And you have your deco, which kind of is like really florally. So you have like a wreath and like a little lantern, a wheelbarrow, and then like a hanging potted plant situation. Here is the um, the foil sampler. <laughs> um, so you have like the little like vines that match the headers and the washi. You have some like leaves, which I know leaves can pull fall-ish but oops 
Okay, she's back. That light has been so finicky, I think I need to replace it. Um, but yeah, anyway, and I know that they can pull fallish, but I feel like they work with this kit. Um, here you have just some letters that say love. They're individual. Um, you have a couple different hat options, some tree swings, a couple trees, some branches, and then this kind of like scrapbooky little torn paper situation um, that matches one of the elements on the full boxes here. It almost looks like a ruler, but it's not. I think it's just um, some torn paper. Yeah. So it matches like this little piece here almost. Not quite exactly the same, but similar. So that is the foil sampler, which is an add-on. Next we have the alcohol ink swatch add-on. This is, um, I feel like I say this about one of these every single week, but I mean it this week. This is a really good one to have in your collection, even if you don't pick up the kit. Just the neutrally colors. I feel like can be used year round. You don't even have to use like a kit that has like all four of these colors. Just like if you want a kit where you want this like darker beige color or even just want to pull one of the colors in, I feel like this is a good one to have in your collection. Here is the journal add on. The floral deco add on. This one's jam packed with florals. And then, and I love how like round they're, I don't know how to describe them. Um, but I feel like some of the florals that I've been working with lately are really annoying <laughs> to work with. And these are just like some of my favorites. Um, and then we have the deco add-on, which has this really cute outfit, wheelbarrow. You got two garden gals who have baskets with little bunnies in them. Oh, so cute. This little ladder stand with some flowers on it, some boots, a watering can, a basket with some eggs and flowers, a wheelbarrow. Did I mention that already? We have a hat and then a window with a cat in it. So lots of fun things this week. That is everything that I have for you. I think actually my camera's going to run out of memory in exactly like one minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> so I will make this sign off really quick, but that is everything that I have for you this week. Don't forget that everything is an additional 10% off automatically this week only. I say it every week, but I just don't want you to miss out even if you're like new or just forgot, whatever. Um, so yeah, two new kits this week the foiled torn papers, a bunch of little spring foil sheets, and then also don't forget to mention WAP GWAP2024. Write that in the notes to seller so that you can get one of these. Um, such a cute sampler. Um, but yeah, we only have gold. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, but anyway, free stickers are free stickers. So Man, this light really hates me. I don't know how I'm going to fix her. She's so mad at me for no reason. Whatever. I. That's, that's my sign to end the video. I'm going to end the video. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope that you enjoyed your weekend. And I hope you enjoyed the week ahead. And I will talk to you next week. Bye.